Question 10. A stationary firework explodes into four fragments which travels in different direction in a horizontal plane. Okay, so you can imagine this is a firework. You put on the floor and then you light up and then you run away and the firework flies on the surface of the road. They don't fly up. Ah. There is no vertical. This is all horizontal. Okay, what is the speed of fragment X? Okay, so speed V of fragment X, meaning I want to find what is this value of V. Lah. There are several good news. Number one, this everybody is 90. Guys, when everyone is 90, oh, you don't have to resolve anybody. Please don't resolve anything when everything is 90. It is perfect. Okay. Right. Anyway, right now, we know that this is explosion. So we can use conservation of momentum uh, in the case where your initial momentum is zero. Okay, so conservation of momentum says that the momentum of an object is the same unless acted on by an external force. So when you talk about a firework, there is no external force. Uh, what is happening here is that the chemical energy stored in the explosive compound will convert to kinetic energy. But it is not because it exerts a net force. Okay, so you can think about the four pieces of firework. Let me try to draw them. So you have this 25 gram, this 10 gram, 20 gram and 50 gram, 15 gram. They will fly in four directions, right? So they will have different, different speeds, but it just means that there is a force, the force that is pushing on this 25 gram is equal in magnitude and opposite in direction in the force that is pushing on the 20 gram. F1, F2. The magnitude of F1 will be equal to the magnitude of F2. Just like the magnitude of the force pushing away this 10 gram fragment, let's say I call this F3, la, will be the same as the magnitude of the force pushing this uh, 15 gram fragment. And the good news here is because they are on the, along the same line. That's why we know the magnitude is the same. Just so you know. This is magnitude is the same because it is along the same line, but opposite direction. Newton's third law. Entry. So if I'm modifying this question, I may change it to a concept question. But this one is not now. And the good news here is because everybody is parallel, you don't have to resolve anyone. So let's check. What is the momentum? I already labeled this one as one. So why is P1? Now? Okay, so to find P1, I can take 25 times 10 to the power of negative 3, multiply by 240. Okay, let's say I find the momentum just to check, lah, because I got extra values, I can check what. This is 6 kg meter per second. Hmm, interesting. Let's find P2. P2 will be equal to 20 times 10 to the power of negative 3. And I think if you have a good hunch with numbers, times 300 meter per second, you will also see that this is 6 kg ms negative 1. They cancel out. Very nice. Yes, it's very nice. This means oh, the momentum of this thing and the momentum of this thing should be equal in magnitude and opposite direction so that the initial momentum is zero. Okay, so you can see here that uh, P1 plus P2, which is 6 plus, I, somebody have to be negative. La. So let's say I treat P2 as negative because it's opposite direction. So I have 0, which is also equal to initial momentum. Okay, so can repeat the same thing again, but for the uh, 10 gram and the 15 gram. So for 10 gram, I want to find P3. P3 here would be 10 times 10 to the power of negative 3 times 300. This is 3 kg ms negative 1. So hence, I can say P4 should have the same magnitude, which is 3 kg ms negative 1. P4 would be 15 gram multiplied by 
and move a bit so I can zoom in a bit. Okay, there we go. 15 gram multiplied by x, which is the speed. This is 3. So you can find x. x will be equal to 3 divided by 15, negative 3, 200 meter per second. Okay? So again, if you take the momentum P3 plus negative P4, because they are in opposite direction, you will still get zero. Okay? So from here, let's say I take P3 plus P4, which is 3 plus negative 3, also zero. So the initial momentum and the final momentum is the same. Because they happen to be 90 degree to each other. If they are not 90 degree, then everybody have to resolve that. You have to do accounting. You resolve F1 into X and Y component. You resolve F2 in X and Y component. F3 in X and Y component. F4 in X and Y component. And you add everything together. No? I don't know why this paper is very vector paper. They are testing your understanding of vectors in so many different ways. Which means if you don't know vector, it's a GG. It's okay. So yeah. That's it. If you want the actual uh, X1 where the direction is different, you can check out other questions. That's it. Okay. So the main uh, sitting idea here is the momentum should be equal in magnitude and opposite in direction because this is an explosion and the initial force is zero. So the force that pushes the fragment in one direction will push the other fragment in the other direction. So they kind of cancel out. Uh. Or you could take the initial momentum is zero. And then you take final momentum either in the one and two direction just to double check. So the reason why I'm guessing they give you so many numbers is so that you can stare at this and double check. La. F, the change in momentum of 25 gram is 6. So then 20 gram will be negative 6 in opposite direction. Then you can repeat the process for x and the 10 gram fragment. Okay, that's it for question 10.